Excellent! Guys, guys, hello. Hello and welcome to this very short video uh, that's going to be very limited on information, but I am going to be bringing you what could very well be an exclusive world's first unboxing of the GeForce GTX 1080 Ci. That's right, it's here, NVIDIA's announced it. Uh, in fact, they have additional information about this card that I don't even know yet, but I'm going to find out soon. That would be the price and the launch date. I won't find that out for a couple hours. I can't tell you in this video, but when I do find out, I'll post it down in the video's description so you guys can find that information out too. Anyway, this is uh, the, of course, uh, I almost said engineering sample. This is the Founders Edition of the 1080 Ti. It will cost the same, uh, roughly, MSRP as the ones that are actually coming out. This is, of course, NVIDIA's retail box and all that good stuff. They have a bit of documentation back in there. I'm sure this is all the, all the detailed private information about what NVIDIA does um, in, their, in their spare time, I suppose. Uh, and here it is, the 1080 Ti. Since it is a Founders Edition, it looks very similar to a GTX 1080, which you may have, may have seen before. It comes in a lovely packaging right here, and uh, I'm just going to set it here so we can ogle at it just briefly. I really like the Founders Edition design. I've said this before. I think they do a very good job with it. You might notice the main difference being here, the TI. They've added the TI to the 1080. And then there is a power delivery difference here, uh, where we've gone from an 8-pin, a single 8-pin for the 1080, to a 6-pin and an 8-pin for the 1080 Ti. So there it is. Other than that, pretty much the same when it comes to the design. Uh, they have improved the cooler. They've made it a little bit better. They showed us some charts on that. I don't, I don't know the detailed information to rattle it off for you right here, but I do have some specs. Uh, so just so you guys know, they, these were, these do have anti-static bags. Nvidia is properly packaging these, so no one get bad, no one get mad at Brian. Um, but there it is. And uh, yeah, so specs for this: uh, 12 billion transistors on the GPU itself. With the uh, GP102 is the GPU that's in there. Uh, so it's essentially of the same GPU as the Titan XP. Um, but of course, there's going to be some slight variations to uh, configurations and everything. Uh, it's got a 1.6 gigahertz boost clock, uh, 2 gigahertz OC from what they're saying, which I imagine means that when you overclock it, it's going to run about 2 gigahertz. Yes, I'm getting a, a positive in indication for there. Uh, 28 streaming, uh, 28 SM units with 128 cores each. Uh, so that's that's how many SMs are in there. Those are the same building blocks that the 1080 is built on, of course. 3,584 CUDA cores, 28 geometry units, 224 texture units. Six GPCs, which are draft graphics processing clusters, 88 ROP units, and 352-bit GDDR5X memory. And uh, they, they did discuss GDDR5X versus uh, HBM2 memory. GDDR5X is not only more available, but uh, the HBM2 memory isn't fast enough yet. They're still making it faster. So uh, they, they went with GDDR5X here, and they actually found that uh, the performance here, uh, at least in this particular iteration, was better than what, with, what they uh, could have gotten with HBM2. So that's why they went with that. And then finally for memory capacity, that GDDR5X memory, there's 11 gigs. That's right, 11 gigs of it in there. A an interesting number, but uh, they did actually make a Spinal Tap reference, which was totally appropriate, uh, and everything should go to 11, I completely agree. Anyway guys, uh, we're expecting that these will be reviewed soon. Again, there's lots of information that we still don't know. I'm going to post the price and uh, launch date as soon as I get that in the comment section down below. Hit the thumbs up button on this video if you enjoyed it. I know it was very quick and hastily put together, but I wanted to get you guys something on this for launch, as NVIDIA has just now confirmed that this exists and will be for sale soon. Check the description, uh, links and stuff are down there. Thanks for watching. See you next time, guys.